flow. Uh, this is a demonstration of uh, cross-chain messaging uh, uh, that uh, use it in uh, protocol of RoboBank. Uh, this is a uh, this is a code that uh, allows to uh, interact uh, with uh, to interact robot robots in a robonomic parachain with uh, any uh, external uh, client parachains uh, to place orders and receive payments uh, in tokens of external parachains using cross-chain messaging uh, to uh, to demonstrate and to, to test this software uh, we wrote a pack of scripts that uh, uh, emulates uh, uh, that emulates running of free blockchains uh, of uh, a relay chain uh, like Polkadot or Kusama. Uh, the one parachain uh, playing the role of uh, client parachain Moonbeam, Akala or uh, Fala or any other. Uh, and the one parachain playing the role of uh, service parachain, the uh, Robonomica. Uh, the structure of this test uh, is uh, uh, the structure uh, of this test uh, is um, uh, it's a pack uh, of scripts. Uh, this is a Python script to send transactions to uh, parachains uh, and the. Uh, uh, pack of code of runtime code from uh, client uh, in client parachain uh, in service parachain in uh, Robonomica and the uh, runtime code uh, for uh, uh, and the, the common part. Uh, we'll, uh, we will run these uh, blockchains uh, as a separate processes uh, on the uh, on a single computer. Uh, in, uh, uh, on different uh, endpoints, uh, and we will show that uh, everything works. Uh, okay, uh, let's start. Uh, it's not a very fast process. Uh, first, uh, we should uh, configure our uh, explorers uh, with the custom types we use. Uh, this is a type of uh, robot of device of order. Uh, so we go to settings, to developer, and we put our our custom types here. Uh, maybe you have other settings here. Let's save it. Uh, and now uh, let's run. Uh, uh, let's start uh, uh, everything. Uh, I will run the full version uh, of the script that will uh, that will run uh, all the blockchains and register the uh, message crossing ch channels uh, between them. Uh, we go into we go into start four validator nodes for relay chain uh, to show that finalization is uh, working uh, correctly, uh, that uh, all the security guarantees are uh, fulfilled. And for each of parachains, we will run the one collator or uh, one collator for client parachain uh, and one collator for a service parachain for uh, Rubanomica. Uh, and uh, we will uh, we will open uh, all needed ports to uh, to look what's going on uh, in all these blockchains. Also, uh, every record in log uh, will be uh, labeled as uh, the record from parachain or from a relay chain, and so uh, we can distinguish uh, these messages when we are uh, debugging. Uh, 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 when we are debugging uh, our code in uh, all uh, all three uh, all three uh, blockchains, the first uh, is a relay chain based on a Rocco call. Uh, we see uh, events uh, and we see that finalization is going uh, uh, is going. So uh, our validators uh, are working uh, correctly. Uh, and uh, uh, we uh, see the process of uh, onboarding of new uh, parachains. Our script is uh, registering the new parachains. Uh, this uh, this uh, re register, uh, um, this process uh, is not uh, fast because the registration of new parachains uh, is uh, performed once per uh, epoch. So we need uh, to wait. A little until all our parachains will be uh, registered. Well, let's wait. Uh, we see that uh, 
uh, two uh, our power trades uh, are going to onboard. Uh, this is the client power chain and this is a Robonomica. This process is uh, performed once uh, by the teams of both power chains uh, in Polkadot. Uh, and while uh, this process is going on, uh, also we see that uh, our um, power chains also start uh, also started uh, to uh, also started to produce blocks. Uh, the, uh, the, there are some uh, uh, miss, uh, uh, some problems with interface, but uh, they are not serious. Uh, I'll tell you uh, about the flow of the ordering uh, of placing the order for a robot from the external parachain. First, the robot is registered in both parachains in Robonomica and uh, in, in client parachain. Uh, he has his uh, an address with the balance, uh, and he wants to accept the orders uh, and be paid in token of external parachain. Uh, uh, and client in external parachain, for example, in Moonbeam or Akala, he don't know that parachain uh, that Robonomica parachain even exists. He works only in his parachain. He has a tokens only of uh, external parachain, and he just choose the robot and place the order. Uh, when a robot uh, is registering, he sets uh, some uh, some parameters. Uh, for example, the uh, the penalty deposit uh, that he will pay if uh, uh, if he accepts the order and uh, don't complete it, uh, uh, and uh, the time uh, for uh, one order uh, that uh, uh, until until the time he uh, must uh, uh, he must send the the uh, done message the uh, the completion mes message. Uh, then uh, clients creates the order in client uh, parachain uh, and locks payment for this order in tokens of client parachain. Then cross-chain message uh, automatically sent to uh, Robonomica uh, and this order becomes available in the Robonomica parachain. Uh, a robot uh, subscribed to, uh, to orders, uh, he, um, he see the order for him uh, and automatically accept it. And now it's automatically, but robot can uh, choose uh, orders he likes uh, more. Uh, it can be done in future ver uh, version, but now it's uh, more useful to uh, make uh, the acceptance uh, automatically. Uh, and cross-chain message uh, after they accept is automatically sent to client back to client parachain, informing the client that uh, his order was accepted. Uh, in, the, in the same time, uh, uh, on the balance of robot, the penalty deposit is locked. Uh, this penalty de uh, deposit uh, is uh, 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 is locked. After some time, uh, robot reports that he uh, uh, that, that, that he is done, that the, the job is done. Uh, and uh, another cross-chain message is sent to client's parachain informing client that the job was done and all the payments are settled. Uh, a robot receives the, the payment on his balance uh, and his uh, penalty deposit is unlocked. Uh, in case uh, when a robot don't uh, send uh, send the, this message, uh, the penalty deposit is unlocked for a client, and client can uh, his money back. Um, this is the first version of our flow. Uh, let's uh, demonstrate it. Uh, we see that uh, there is no onboarding parachains, uh, and now they are fully uh, ready for uh, interactions parachains, the client parachains, the Robonomica parachains, uh, uh, we see it uh, in the relay chain. Uh, also we see that we have uh, opened the cross-chain uh, messages channels, uh, the incoming channels to client parachain and uh, outcoming uh, channel for Robonomica parachain. Uh, to uh, demonstrate that uh, this uh, opening of these channels uh, can be performed manually uh, and it's performed once uh, by uh, also uh, like uh, registrations of parachains because parachains uh, should allow uh, to receive messages and send messages to other uh, to other parachains 
uh, we'll send these transactions of registration by ourselves uh, from uh, our Robonomic to client parachain. It's a, uh, it's a uh, transactions. The setup of channels is also uh, not uh, very fa uh, fast, but we can uh, do the next step. Uh, we can uh, go to uh, registration of robot. Uh, and uh, while our channels are uh, uh, are registering, uh, we will register the robot with the name uh, Robot Zero. Uh, uh, this is his name, uh, and we'll uh, register in in both parachains, in service parachain and uh, in robonomic parachain. Okay, let's do it. Uh, we are sending sending these transactions. And let's go to see what's going on in our uh, parachains. Uh, the time between blocks in parachains is 12 seconds, so yeah, it's not a very fast procedure. But we know the, uh, uh, but, uh, but uh, we see the event new device uh, in client parachains, uh, in, in client parachain, and uh, we see that a uh, robot is registered with this address with some balance on this address to pay the, the deposit uh, and also uh, we see uh, the uh, new device event in a robonomica parachain because we send this transaction in both parachain uh, let's uh, see uh, our robot in the storage uh, because it we are going to service module to storage of, of service module uh, on Urbanomica. Uh, and we see the record about our robot. Uh, he has his uh, this address. He uh, he's on. Uh, he has uh, the penalty deposit of these sites uh, and the time to complete uh, the order. So uh, our uh, the same thing uh, is uh, going on here uh, in client. Uh, in client module, uh, there is only a map, uh, a map of, of the same uh, of robot with the same uh, parameters. Okay, uh, let's go to see uh, what's uh, going on here with our channels uh, between parachains. Mm. Uh, channels are not ready yet. Let's wait a little. Uh, uh, now uh, we can um, try uh, um, I can I can repeat uh, the the, uh, the script in the reverse direction to be sure that everything is working fine just in details okay uh, and now uh, from from this point let's try to place an order from Urbanomica to client uh, parachain well uh, from from uh, from client parachain to uh, to Urbanomica uh, to complete it uh, we, uh, we we can uh, use the uh, the order option of uh, testing script register pi uh, so uh, in client parachain we place the order for a robot a zero. Uh, the parameters of this order uh, are hard coded uh, in the test, but uh, you can change it uh, if you want. Uh, okay, let's try it. No. Now let's make sure that all, chan all channels are ready and the messages can pass uh, in both directions from one parachain to another. Okay, let's go. Let's place the order. Uh, we're uh, we setting the transaction only in client parachain. We uh, don't know uh, that Robonomica parachain uh, uh, even exists. We we uh, we want to pay in uh, external uh, with with external tokens in client uh, in client parachain. Uh, let's see what's going on. Mm. Uh, we uh, we see the uh, new order uh, new order event. Uh, this uh, new order is created in client parachain. We can uh, look at it uh, in storage. 
Yeah, we, uh, we see the order for this robot until uh, given time uh, with some um, data that can be controlled by a user uh, with the fee uh, and client and uh, some uh, param uh, parameters. Then after this, uh, after this, after new, after new order, the message is sent to Urbanomica parachain here, where we see also the event, the new order for our robot, and also can see that uh, uh, new order was created uh, and place it in storage with the same parameters. Uh, this is, uh, this, uh, this was made with one transaction in client parent chain. Uh, here in, in Robonomica, uh, our uh, robot automatically accepted, uh, accepted the task uh, and the message was sent back to client parachain, chain where we also uh, see uh, this uh, event that order was accepted and the robot started to complete uh, to complete uh, his job let's let's go mm, then after some time uh, after some time uh, we send the transaction that order was done uh, and the robot sent this transaction only in a robonomica parachain robot don't know uh, anything about the client parachain uh, he just reports uh, uh, yeah, he, he reports his job in Robonomica okay, let's go we're sending this transaction let's see what's going on in uh, Robonomica uh, we see the event done that order was done uh, and uh, when we see uh, when we are looking on orders here uh, we see that the orders list now is empty uh, our robot has completed his task and uh, uh, in client uh, in client power chain uh, we also uh, see the event that order was done uh, and two events showing us that uh, the payment uh, uh, the payment was passed to uh, was passed to uh, was transferred to balance of uh, our robot and uh, the penalty deposit of our robot was unlocked uh, was unreserved uh, so uh, the robot received the payment for the completed job in client power chain uh, by, by by sending the message uh, here uh, in Urbanomica, uh, where he has a full uh, a, a bunch of uh, software for for managing uh, his uh, his life uh, his life cycle. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, that, that's all. Uh, uh, as I said, uh, changes in this protocol. Uh, of course are possible uh, and um, this software this test suite to test the cross-chain messaging uh, can be used not only for urbanomica but for uh, any uh, for any uh, development process with the cross-chain messaging uh, when you need to develop uh, at the same time the two parts of software the uh, the runtime part uh, in the client parachain and the runtime part in service parachain, uh, uh, it uh, it uh, it can be usable. Okay, that's all. Thank you.